Hi, this is Kevin with Learn Computers 24-7, and today I'm going to show you guys how to share a file or a folder through Google Drive. Now in an earlier video, I showed you how to set up a Google Drive account and how to download Google Drive Desktop to your computer. That way you can access your files from your desktop. The icon should look something like this. We're going to click on that icon, and we can see the files that are in our drive right now. So we're going to X out of that for now. And let's just test this out with a Word document. So we're going to open up Microsoft Word. We're going to type test into the blank document. And we're going to go to File, Save As. And on the left-hand corner, we're going to see Google Drive in our favorites. So we're going to save this as Test 2. OK. Now we can exit out of Microsoft Word. OK, we're going to go back into our Google Drive folder on our desktop. And we're going to see that Test 2 is here, and there's a little spinning circle. This tells us that it's being uploaded. Just so you can see it better, I'll change the view. Once it is uploaded, you'll see a little check, like on test. OK, now we can X out of that folder, and we'll open up Google Chrome or your internet browser. We're going to go in the address bar, type in google.com, and we're going to make sure we are signed in, and we're going to click on Drive in the top left. Now we can see that our test file has been uploaded to the drive, and when we click on it, it'll open up in a Google Docs format. OK, we can X out of that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the little checkbox next to it. We're going to click on More, click Share, and click Share again. Now we're going to see this little window right here. We're going to see a link, and we're going to see who has access to this file. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this access so that anyone with the link can view it. But you can also choose that it can be public on the web to where anyone can view it. So what we're going to do for this tutorial is we're going to use anyone with the link. Now you can also change what they're able to do, whether they can view it or whether they can edit it or comment on it. So we're going to leave it as can view. OK, and we're going to click OK. And now we're going to copy our link and click Done. Now we can paste it into our browser to make sure it works. Once we click Enter, it will take us directly to our test file in a document format. Now we can also paste this link anywhere else so anyone with the link can view it. We can paste it in an email, a text message, etc. So we're going to X out of this for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a folder. So we're going to click on that little icon up top, and we're going to name the folder Test Folder and click Create. OK, and what we're going to do is we're going to drag Test 2 and Test into the Test Folder. Now we can see that both of those documents are inside of the Test Folder. We're going to go back to My Drive, and we're going to click on the checkbox next to Test Folder, click More, Share, Share again, and we'll get this same window. We're going to change the access to anyone with the link, Leave it as can view and click save. We're going to copy the link again and click done. OK, and once again, we'll test it out in a new tab. We'll paste our link into our browser and we'll click enter. Now this time, it'll take us to where we have both test documents inside of a folder. As you can see, we can open each one separately. This is extremely useful for sharing photos and videos that are too large to share in email files. That's it for this video, guys. Uh, please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, leave any comments on other tutorials you guys would like. This is Kevin from Learn Computers 24-7. Thanks for watching.